A murder suspect from the Chicago area found southwest of San Antonio last night in Natalia. 23-year-old Romeo Nance was accused of killing eight people in Illinois and had been on the run. Yesterday, the Medina County Sheriff's Office had gotten word that Nance was heading their way on I-35, and when authorities confronted him, a standoff ensued at a local gas station, and Nance ended up shooting himself. A Supreme Court ruling is putting added pressure on lawmakers to pass an immigration plan. The court is letting Border Patrol remove razor wire along part of the Rio Grande. Senate negotiators say a sticking point for passing an immigration plan is how to pay for it. Another issue is that some House Republicans say they won't compromise with Senate Democrats. The first votes in New Hampshire cast overnight, and it was not good news for former President Donald Trump. He was swept by Nikki Haley, six votes to zero, in the tiny town of Dixville Notch, which continued its tradition of casting votes at midnight. But polls show Dixville Notch may not be a reliable indicator of how things will play out later today across the state. United Airlines says it sees a strong 2024 despite having 79 of its jets out of commission indefinitely. All of its 737 MAX 9 planes are grounded after a door plug blew out on an Alaska Airlines jet mid-flight, but United says travel demand is still strong. Tesla is set to report quarterly earnings tomorrow with some big questions looming from investors. While falling battery prices will likely help Tesla boost profit margins, there are still concerns about slowing demand in the EV market. A lot of workers are still thinking about switching jobs, but it might not be as easy as the last couple of years. A LinkedIn survey of 1,000 professionals says 85% are considering a switch, but Data from Jobs Board shows companies are pulling back on pay and benefits. The Federal Trade Commission ruling against TurboTax. The agency found their parent company, Intuit, deceived customers by advertising its tax services as free, when in reality, those services were not free for many users, like those who file 1099 forms. The FTC ordered Intuit to either stop advertising as free or actually make its services free for all customers. TikTok is the latest tech company to cut jobs. About 60 employees are being laid off, including some workers in LA, New York, and Austin. According to one industry job tracker, so far this year, more than 10,000 tech jobs have been cut. Apple releasing its latest iPhone software update with new security features. The stolen device protection tool requires Face ID or Touch ID to perform certain actions. And there's a time delay to change your passport or Apple ID, only when you're away from familiar places like home or work. And that's today's Night at Nine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.